Hello everyone, I'm Shao Zhao. I'm recording this video to give you an introduction to our work. Accelerating Online CPD Decomposition for Higher Order Tensors. In this video, I will mainly talk about what research problem we are trying to solve, and what is the motivation behind it. If you are interested, you are more than welcome to check out our paper for more details. First, what is our research question? Before that, you need to know what tensor is. Basically, tensor is a data modeling tool, and you can imagine it as a high-dimensional cube. Take a video for example. You can store all pixels into a vector, or you can also use matrix to model it. However, both of them are kind of discarding the structure information of pixels, which might be important. In fact, a more natural way is to model each frame as a matrix, and then you can put all matrices together as a 3D cube, which is a tensor. Given such a great tool like Tensor, we need some technology to work with it. And the important one is the method to simplify it. For metrics, we have tools such as SVD and matrix factorization to extract the latent factors from the data. Similarly, for Tensor, we can use CP decomposition algorithm. Basically, it factorizes Tensor into a few matrices, where each of them maps the original dimension to the latent factors. Now we have some knowledge about tensor and CP decomposition. Here comes our research problem. We are interested in the giving a tensor and its CP decomposition. How can we efficiently obtain the new decomposition after some new data arriving? But why do we want to do this? To motivate it, I would like to give an example like this. Suppose you are a data scientist in traffic management department and your department has access to traffic volume of the road network. At each time point, you have a snapshot of the traffic in the network. As we said before, you can use Tensor to model this data and CP decomposition to simplify it. However, an important fact is that for this system, you always have new data coming at a very high speed. As a result, you need an efficient algorithm to track the CP decomposition for this online Tensor. If you are interested to know how to do this, please have a look on our paper, Accelerating Online CP Decompositions for Higher Order Tensors. Thanks for watching.